Awards. And I was looking and this stat flabbergasted me. But since the 1st of January this year, 44% of the candidates that you've placed have been sourced from Sourcebreaker in charity integration. I don't know if you knew that. It's, it's amazing. And I think the, the one thing is I genuinely use this, use that, that, that kind of graph and look at that results because for me, you know, being able to see return investment is such an important part of, of my job, looking at uh, the tech stack that we're using and having that integration, it's just invaluable. It really is. Having a good tech stack is one of the biggest USPs in your business right now, um, not only for a business owner, so you know where your ROI is, what your business is doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but also for your consultants, you know, for a consultant these days to come in and see the tech stack that you're operating with and know they have the best tools to, to run their desk on a day-to-day -day basis is such a huge USP. You made a remark when I first uh, met you, Ben, whenever it was, when you were at Premier actually, um, and you said something and it really resonated with me. You said, my job as CEO founder is to remove excuses from my consultants and an easy way for me to do that is by arming them with tech weapons. And exactly. I thought that was brilliant. That's an easy one as a leader, isn't it? So I'll, I'll use the example of Tech Taylor, who we've got in the New York office um, this week. I was literally sat with her yesterday. Um, and she, she literally turned around and said, this tool is helping me. You know, I'm, not, I'm not saying this just for the sake of the, the show, but this tool is, is literally helping me do my job. And, and she didn't have it in her previous business. She had uh, kind of eight months recruitment experience. And she was the one that found these candidates this week because of the platform. And I think it's, it's one of the key things that I look for with all my tech providers is that constant evolution, okay? Constantly looking to be the best in class. And these two businesses, you're always looking to do more and you're constantly looking to evolve and look at what is next, what's next on the roadmap. And whenever I talk to either of you, whether it be over a beer or in, on, a, on a Zoom, you're, you've always got the next stuff going on. And I think that's so, so important when you look at your tech partners making sure you're asking that question, what's next for you? What, what are you doing next? What's going next? 